Well, hello world and welcome to Real Cooking at Home. My name is Mark and it is home for the holidays. Now, I was thinking a lot this year about what can we do for Thanksgiving that's not the typical mashed potatoes and gravy. So, I thought risotto, mushroom risotto. I love mushrooms. They're in season right now. Well, they're always in season, but mushrooms are so fantastic and I love risotto. So, I just thought, why not risotto? So, that's what we're going to do today. We're taking the mystery out of your risotto. It's so, so very easy. And this is what we're going to need to get started. I'm going to need some olive oil, salt and pepper, butter, parmesan cheese, some diced onions. I've got two varieties of mushrooms. I've got a shiitake and a portobello. And I've got a cup and a half of arboreal rice. Now, arboreal rice, whenever you go to your grocery store, you're not going to find risotto in a box. Uh, it's arborio rice. It's a method that they cook the arborio rice to make risotto. So what we're going to do is we're going to start out, and I've got some help in the kitchen today. My mama's here. It's time for Thanksgiving, and this is actually our Thanksgiving risotto that we're having now. So I'm going to coat the bottom of this pan with extra virgin olive oil, a good coat, and I'm going to add in our onions. And you come on over here, mama. This is Mama. This Mama. is Fran. <laughs> as, as I saute these down, Mama, if you'll get those mushrooms and just start sauteing those, those down Where? in this pan. Give me the olive oil. There you go. Okay. Okay. Now we want to keep this moving a little bit with the onions because we don't want any color on them. We just want to sweat. All at one time? All at one time. Those and the shiitakes. They better simmer down a little bit. They will. They'll stick up real good. <laughs> now, as those go down, when they get shrunk down just a little bit, we're going to add some salt. Our onions are softened up. I'm going to go ahead and put in our rice. And we'll stir this around for about two minutes just to get the rice coated up. And if you don't think you've got enough oil in your pan, y'all just go ahead and add another drizzle of olive oil. Mama, if you'll hand me that. Now you said that you didn't, you couldn't buy this stuff in a box like this. It wouldn't come like that. That you, but you. The arborio rice, right? Arborio rice, right? You can't buy it in a box. You can buy arborio rice. You can't buy risotto. Right. Okay. But you can't use regular rice. Rice in there. Okay. You could use regular rice for the method. I think it might fall apart. Oh, is it? Is that tougher? A little bit. Yeah. You can tell I taught him everything he knows. <laughs> uh, anybody that knows me knows better than that. I taught him the basics, and he took it from there. Now that our rice has been evenly coated in the olive oil, what I'm going to do is throw in one half cup of white wine wine and just enough chicken stock to coat our rice, just to cover it. So just about like that. And now the trick to risotto is I'm going to sit here and I'm going to stir this until this stock is completely gone. Then I'll add stock yet again. So I'm going to be stirring. Mama's going to be sauteing. Y'all come on back. Our mushrooms are done, so I'm going to set them off to the side and let them cool a little bit. And Wayne, I think you're ready. For, has he got to put some more stuff in it? Some more stock. Some more some more stock. stock. I think I am too. I think I'm ready. Now this is our third edition, and after the third edition of the stock, y'all, once this gets gone, I want you to taste of your rice. It should be done, but still have just a little bite to it. Now do you salt that, or do you... I salted it when I put the first edition in. Yes. Okay. All right, our risotto is almost ready. It took about five editions of liquid to get the grains as soft as we wanted them to be so that it would be good and done. But right now, I'm going to add in a good couple of handfuls of Parmesan cheese. Now, once the parm goes in, beat it and whip it good. That's a little secret to risotto. Once you put your cheese in, just whip it and whip it and whip it until the cheese melts. It's going to separate all those grains. And once the cheese melts and Mama's whipped it pretty good, we're just going to stir in the mushrooms, and it's going to be time to taste. Okay, it's time to taste the risotto before we sit down to our Thanksgiving dinner. And I'm going to let Mama do the tasting tonight, because I've already tasted it. How was it? Just, it's good. 
I don't know if you want me to do it. If it's not good, I promise I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> it's hot. You better blow on it. Yeah. I love the whole mushrooms. Mm. Delicious. <laughs> Delicious. It is the combination of the mushrooms, the creamy rice, the Parmesan cheese just pulls everything together. And risotto is time consuming, but it's so, so easy. So we're getting ready for Thanksgiving dinner. Thank you so much for coming and cooking with me. Until next time, y'all get in the kitchen and cook. Bye, y'all.